Guess who's back? Back again. Niecy's back. Hello, friend, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I just dropped in really quick to give y'all some knowledge and some encouragement that was placed on my heart that also encouraged me today. So I'm spreading the word, spreading the love, and spreading the encouragement. So you guys already know if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, leave a comment down below and let me know that you already subscribed, you're following, and you're actually excited to see my video today. Oh man, I feel like every time I come on, I'm always saying I miss you guys and this and that, whatever, but I'm for real, y'all. I really miss y'all. I'm so grateful and so thankful to be doing something like this. And you know, every now and then we all need reminders as to why we're doing certain things and why we're going through certain things in life. So that's what I'm here for, okay? So I'm gonna play my intro. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe to my video. And we're gonna get right into it. All right, so you guys have saw my lovely intro and this is just a reminder again to hit that like button, comment and subscribe. I am definitely going to get, I feel like I say this every single time too and I'm just like Janice, actions is louder than words. You can't say that about other people if you're not being, if your actions are not following up too. But I'm gonna let you guys know I really am wholeheartedly seeking this, doing this because God has definitely placed this on my heart to be doing. I stopped it before and I got a word of encouragement to start again. And then I stopped again and now I got my own word of encouragement from the Holy Spirit. I had to whip me back up into shape really quick. So literally, come on Janice. I'm giving you everything. So this morning, I have my notes too here, just to help me keep, stay on track. So this morning I was praying as per usual, and towards the end of my prayer, I was just asking God to make sure I was still on the right path of the choices that I was making and things that was going on. And recently in my life, I had like a few events which caused me to get a little distracted and also a little discouraged if I must say, I have to be honest. Um, just wondering just about my life and how things are gonna play out and things like that. So towards the end of my prayer, I'm asking God, am I still on the right path? Am I doing the things that he called me to do? And I get this unction in the Holy Spirit and sometimes when I get that feeling, I just be quiet. And in the midst of that silence, I start to hear the Lord speak to me and he says, you know, you have everything inside of you already. I've already given you the plan. I've always get, already given you the mission. I've already given, began to give you the resources. You have everything inside of you. Go get it. Like, why are you allowing yourself to wallow in self-pity? Go get it. And sometimes, you know, we, myself included, go to God in thinking that he's a genie in a bottle, that we can just rub him and outpour all of our wishes coming true just like that. And sometimes it, we have to have that perseverance to continue to push through even when we get discouraged to push through even when sometimes it doesn't seem like it's working out the way you've envisioned it. and sometimes God allow things to happen to us but to allow things to happen to us but it does not harm us it may hurt our emotions a little bit it may discourage us a little bit but it also reminds us that we cannot go and go after the thing that God had placed in us without him we cannot do it alone and sometimes we need that reminder like okay God is giving you everything that you need. You need to take these steps forward and knowing that God is gonna be with you every single step of the way. He doesn't give you a plan or a dream or even a promise without plans to bring it to fruition, without plans of keeping his word. And sometimes we get so caught up in the things that are happening around us. For me personally, I had to take a step back from a lot of things and reevaluate and be like, you know what? What am I doing? Like I'm literally, God has given me so many resources and it's just like, come on are you going to use it are you going to do something with it so i just pray that i give you guys just a little bit of encouragement today because i needed it and sometimes we have to realize that we're going to god for strength but we also have to realize god is not a genie he's not someone that is going to you're going to rub it and then just be like okay all right lord this is my wish make it come true like that's not how it works god plants his seeds in us and gives us the opportunity to go after it you say that prayer, you get up and you go get it. That's exactly how it was laid to me in the Holy Spirit, in the Spirit. And sometimes God has to be a little bit hard on us because it's just like, come on, you're praying, you pray for this, you ask, you ask for this, and now you're not 
being true to it you're not staying on course with it you're not you're allowing a little distraction or a little discouragement to come along and take you off your path come on like i'm giving this to you this is your blessing this is the thing that you've been praying for that's going to bring you to the next level and we just have to realize that sometimes it was okay to take a step back to reevaluate it but then also hit the ground running and just remember to never give up and just know that you are not in this alone you are not suffering by yourself you're not going through anything by yourself the lord catches every tear he has a plan and a purpose for everything so i just wanted to come out really quick just to say tell you guys i miss you i love you and just give me that word of encouragement that i needed in this time and in this season so i hope it were it helped you guys i love you guys nisi out peace